Right, you might remember in the last video I was talking about getting a oil filter adapter um, to give more clearance because of the HKS um, intercooler pipe work near the oil filter. So what I got was the Science of Speed kit um, imported from the States and I think I ordered it on Saturday and it's uh, Thursday now. Well, it arrived on Thursday and uh, that was with UPS shipping so I was quite impressed with that. Item came quick, uh, no issues with it. And what it is, um, I had a look online and it's basically a, a Ford 90 degree oil adapter that's been um, adjusted or adapted to fit an S2000 and allows you to fit a Honda NSX um, oil filter which is obviously larger than the S2000 one so if anything it's going to increase the uh, the amount of oil that's getting filtered rather than the oil filter being on bypass so what they've done is uh, you can see you've got this machined edge here now whether they've modified this I'm not sure but you also get these um, oil rings so you've got the o-ring sorry you've got the main one that will go in this seal here to seal it against the block or in this case I'm going to stick the I'm going to keep the stock um, oil cooler so this will seal against the stock oil cooler and um, stop any oil leaks and then if you look at the back section uh, so you imagine this would be on the block, uh, block but obviously it's a bit hard to um, demonstrate this but that would be mounted to the block there and then you've got this uh, fit in here um, that will have an M20 thread on which is the same thread as um, you'll find on the S2000 um, oil cooler so basically an S2000 uh, oil filter thread is M20 times 1.5 and that will screw into the block and push all of this assembly against the block and then you've also got the smaller o-ring which will seal on this face here so what you'll end up with is uh I'll tilt the camera up a bit a bit hard to get it all in shot that'll be mounted like that on the block with this going through it and that is what will provide you with uh, the oil filter fitted at a 90 degree angle so benefits of that in my case uh, one of them oil filter changes is going to be pretty easy because instead of it making mess everywhere you'll just unscrew the oil filter it will come away and um, yeah it'll be fine no issues it'll be uh, nice and tidy the oil filter will come out without dripping or very little dripping um, my plan is to have um, just the camera a bit is to have a factory oil cooler here sandwich plate here and then this adapter so sandwich plate will point the oil cooler lines this direction which will be the front of the car and then they'll go off to an oil cooler and then obviously this will be retained I did think about whether it would be worth just bolting this straight to the block and then having this a sandwich plate here but then the downsides to that is this is aluminium and although it's pretty, probably pretty strong I don't really want to risk sorry about my phone going off I don't really want to risk the extra weight hanging off the side of the block I'd rather just keep it as it is so uh, that's what I'm going to go with um, I've just got to wait for replacement oil cooler because obviously my one's a been used for two and a half years uh, it'd be stupid not just to replace it it's like 40 pounds so I might as well replace it uh, the other plus point about this I don't know if you can see here it's got a 1.8 NPT uh, a drilled hole and a tapped which means that you can um, put oil pressure sensor or temperature sensor the only thing I'm not sure of here um, and I'd be a bit apprehensive of is whether an oil temperature sensor let's have a look let's unscrew this God, I've done that up tight I 
because we have a, an oil pressure yeah see if you look in there I think an oil pressure sensor being pushed through there a uh, temperature sensor because they're quite bulky would probably restrict the flow quite a lot because it's right in the flow of the oil so I'm probably just going to put a plug in there I've already ordered some from Amazon um, and you might look at this piece and think oh do you know what it's quite expensive for what it is but you have to remember um, this has been custom made so this is M22 which is a, a Honda NSX oil filter thread and also I'd imagine some work has gone on here and this adapter part here will also be M20, uh, M20 whereas in the fold kits if you see here um, see there's a fold mark on there uh, that says that it's a different type of thread so they've had to modify it somewhat to get it to work so it gives you the option of having an oil filter uh, in a restricted area or a restricted space and uh, it's quite a solid lump and um, the only issues I would say possibly is you imagine you've got this bolt to the block it's going to be crucial that the bolt that goes in here does not come undone because this could move around the uh, seal could start leaking oil so what I would recommend and what I'm going to do personally it's up to you what you want to do if you buy this is I'm going to use um, a, a, quite a uh, medium strength I suppose Loctite it's called Loctite 577 and it's also a pipe sealant and I'm just going to put a tiny dab of that on the uh, oil cooler fitting on the factory oil cooler fitting and then screw it up and what that means is that uh, even if it was to be cut the o-ring was to become a little bit loose it's not going to completely undone without quite a bit of torque on it so this would at least stay on the block because you have to remember with this fitting I will have to get rid of the oil filter stopper because that will no longer be in the place that uh, it's designed to grab so yeah, just thought I'd do an explanation and people can have a look at it because uh, I couldn't see much information about it. Um, science of Speed uh, give an instruction sheet the right way, showing how it all works and obviously this is designed for their turbocharger kit so if we look at that picture there you'll see how close their turbo is to the um, stock oil cooler it's in which is in that photo it's that bit there and they've obviously felt the need to uh, move the oil filter away which is pretty similar to the hks because on the hks kit the oil filter comes out here and then literally there's a charge cooler pipe um, in the cooler pipe there um, so there's very little room and um, it just to me it just makes sense to make the oil filter a lot easier to get to so yeah that's uh that's everything i hope this video has been a good explanation of how it all works and um i'll fit it on the car and let you know how i get on thanks for watching